Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this video. All right, so if you guys haven't already, please smash the like button, please subscribe, please give me a thumbs up, drop a comment, either good or bad, doesn't matter. So let's talk about this code. If you guys have this code, you guys probably have a check inch light on your dash. This is a P0033 code. Essentially, it's a generic trouble code that indicates that there is an issue with the turbocharger or supercharger um bypass valve control circuit now we're gonna get into this and we're gonna show you how you guys can fix this issue um specifically it means that the powertrain control module your car's computer or ecu has detected an issue with the voltage signal from the bypass valves control circuit um the circuit involves the bypass valve actuator and a sensor that provides feedback to the PCM about the valve's position. Um, so let's get a little bit deep in, deeper into this. It could be a little bit confusing to somebody who's not familiar with this, but modern vehicles with turbochargers or superchargers often have a bypass valve. Essentially, this valve helps to regulate boost pressure by diverting some exhaust gas away from the turbine turbocharger or venting excess pressure when a throttle is closed now this code p03 p0033 uh, essentially signals that the pcm is not receiving the expected voltage signal from the bypass valves control circuit and this could be due to a faulty actuator the valve itself vacuum lines or wiring issues so let's just talk about potential causes um you could if you guys have this problem um the some common causes of this is a malfunctioning turbocharger bypass actuator or valve you could have a vacuum line leak you could have wiring issues or a faulty sensor now let's go down this one by one now as far as um a malfunctioning turbocharger by bypass actuator or valve um sometimes that's easy to get to um a lot of times it's a lot it's kind i think it's kind of cheap for most vehicles um the turbo itself could be very expensive so if it's just a valve actuator and it's not that expensive or it's easy to get to definitely you guys might just want to change that out as far as testing is concerned um as you know going through that route you might have to get somebody with an expertise in electrical um in the electrical field and most people don't do that they just replace the valve or the actuator actuator as far as a vacuum line leak is concerned um you're gonna have misfires in other codes besides this p0033 code if you guys have a vacuum line leak um wiring problems um as far as the wiring problems is concerned um, most of the time you're not going to get that issue unless the harness has been taken off um, the actuator or valve or a sensor and you might want to look at that if your car has been worked on recently around that area maybe the person who worked on it didn't it didn't pop it in all the way didn't put the harness in all the way and didn't snap in or something like that or you might there's a possibility if you live in an area where there are rats that rats would actually just go in and uh chew up the wires and stuff like that that is a thing but outside of that it's probably not a wiring issue as far as the faulty sensor is concerned um if there is a faulty sensor and you get a code for a specific faulty sen uh, sensor that's con that's connected to this you definitely want to you know probably just change it out just to just to see but if if you guys have this code there's a good chance you guys had a check engine light on your dash um, probably had some reduced engine performance or the engine um, might enter into limp mode which um, happens quite a bit now those are the things that you guys want to look for if you guys have or encountered this code um, if you guys have fixed this problem or have any issue, other issues or questions about this, definitely feel free to like drop a comment in the comment section, bad or good. It might help somebody else out. Somebody might help you out. But drop a comment. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. All that good stuff. Hope this video has helped you guys out. Take care, guys.